no bailout next time around. Because the bailout, presumably, the Fed is easy. Just the Fed has to supply the money for the bailout. If there's uh, losses, then what would it have been the case? Have you let it fail in 08, which was what we should have done, right? The government should have let the bank fail. Now, would that have brought on a crisis if they did that? Get your feet out of my face. <laughs> Claiming to be a wizard of enormous skill, the charlatan performed a few simple tricks that convinced the foolish king of his magical powers and was immediately appointed Grand Sorcerer-in-Chief, the king's private magic master. One morning, as the charlatan and the foolish king were twirling their twigs and hopping in circles and chanting meaningless rhymes, a loud cackling reached the king's ears. Babati, the washerwoman, ceased his hopping and twig twirling and frowned. I grow weary of practice. When shall I be ready to perform real spells in front of my subject, sorcerer? The charlatan saw that the time had come to take his treasures and flee. Alas, your majesty, it is impossible. I had forgotten to tell your majesty that I must set out on a long journey tomorrow. 
If you leave the palace without my permission, sorcerer, my brigade of witch hunters will hunt you down with their hounds. Tomorrow morning. Don't you want to learn about Babbity Rabbity? Tomorrow morning, you will assist me to perform magic for the benefit of the lords and ladies, and if anybody laughs at me, I shall have you beheaded. Are you nervous? Okay. The king stormed back to the palace. <laughs> Why don't you just let him read it? Okay. Go on. I I'm right here. <laughs> the king stormed back to the palace, leaving the charlatan alone and afraid. Babati hopped out the grounds and far away, and ever after a golden statue of the washerwoman stood upon the tree stump, and no witch or wizard was ever persecuted in the kingdom again. Yeah.